Starting a bonsai tree is always satisfying, especially when you propagated the cutting yourself. In summer 2022, I pruned my large dwarf jade and planted this chunky cutting in a deep pot of airy soil. I've been getting good results from cocoa coir and perlite 50-50, as long as I let it dry right out between watering until roots become established. The Portulacaria afra cutting was kept warm and relatively dry in a greenhouse until autumn slash fall and over winter my Mars Hydro indoor setup kept it growing really nicely. I'm using my bamboo chopstick to dislodge the soil, working my way down to the location of the nabari, or surface root structure, at the base of the trunk. I'm pruning back the top growth, partly to keep the height in scale with the trunk, and also to reduce the top heaviness so it's easier to stabilise. So I think if I keep this soil, some of this soil, I can, I can, I can support the tree with uh, a few chopsticks, tie it into the pot that way. Question is, what pot are we gonna put this fella in? Ah, oh, come on, I've gotta do that. I can't not. We're doing it. This bonsai pot has good proportions for the Portulacaria afra cutting, but the root ball needs further work to fit. And I go around the edges and just loosen some of these uh, bound roots up. I'm not going to take all the soil out. Just a bit, bit matted there at the sides. I've got to be really careful with the branches while I do this. I've got a tendency to, I've got a tendency to sort of whack things with the branches while I'm concentrating on what I'm doing with the roots. A bit more soil away from this area. Not too much. Not too much. Don't go mad. Don't go mad. The roots are not individually mature enough to tie the tree down. To prevent the tree from wobbling, I will use thicker wire to avoid the cheese wire effect. Pop a single layer down. A small mound of soil under the trunk helps fill any air pockets when settling the tree into the pot. When pruning the roots to fit the container, I try to cut back to secondary roots and then tuck them into the pot. Next, I will work some soil between the thin roots to share in supporting the wire.
Next, I gently tighten the wire down across a wide area to spread the force. A lot of the original soil has fallen from the root ball during this work, so it's important to chopstick new substrate in thoroughly. Soil is worked under and between the roots, filling any air pockets in a single location of the pot. With the substrate nicely incorporated into this corner, I can now work my way around the entire root ball. Strategically chopsticking in this manner ensures I'm working against that integrated portion. This means soil isn't simply pushed back and forth without being bedded down. I lightly sprinkle some dried sphagnum moss onto the soil surface. It helps to lock the particles in place when watering so the substrate doesn't readily move or spill from the pot. I don't need to use much. We're not trying to cultivate a moss covering that will retain moisture. Portulacara afra bonsai don't need it and it doesn't really look right for a desert species. Thank you. 
thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.